Hello, welcome back to the MCR. My name is Mac, and to my right and your left is TJ. We're going to talk about uh, vote buying, and it's pretty clear it's happening. I mean, we've all heard the stories of years gone by where, you know, they'd give you a Big Mac and a bus ride to, to uh, or the the, uh, the polls. And I'm not opposed to gathering up people and taking them to vote if they perhaps can't get there any other way. But they're telling them how to vote, and here's your here's your sandwich and your your whatever drink, and uh, you're going to vote this way. So that's vote buying. And no one's no one seems concerned about it. Now, I find it almost comical on some level that uh, the Biden administration has already withdrawn the promise of 10 grand for student debt loan. Yeah. It's unconstitutional. They knew that. But they know people are willing to sell their vote. So I'll ask you, what what would you sell your vote for? Is there anything? Well, I, I, at, at the risk of being selfish, a good economy would buy my vote. Yeah. A good economy. I and, wouldn't uh, say it buys, but I'd say it certainly influences. That It's what, it's what any well, rational person should want. You know, you say tomato, I say tomato. Exactly. But yeah. uh, Splitting hairs, I know. Uh, you, you know... You, you come to the conclusion that that uh, the Democrats' way of things will never advance a healthy economy. No, uh, and and there and there's no guarantee that a Republican agenda would would advance the economy either. Save for what Donald Trump but, did with all his op opposition and two impeachments and nonstop media negativity. But you know something I keep hearing over and over and over again. Uh, you know. The Republicans may not be the solution to a good economy, but they sure didn't create the bad economy. No. Uh, not like the Democrats did. So, so yeah, uh, just for that reason alone, uh, you know, I'm going to go R. I'm going to go R. Well, you know? I have to, I, I'm trying to think as a young person might, and I have two daughters that are 28 and 30 here short, 32 shortly, and... One is very conservative, one is woke, which makes me feel like a failure as a father. But I, you only have so much control in life. And I have to wonder, what the hell is going on in the minds of young people? Is it, does it come down to, I'll sell my vote today to get something free? I always said if Mitt Romney in the last days of the election had said he was going to buy every American an a iPhone, that he would have won in a landslide over Barack Obama. I I, uh, I saw it reported on Fox News of all things, but I, I saw it reported that uh, something like sixty two percent of single women voted Democrat, uh, whereas married women was more like in the in the forties well, or something. But and you know the vast majority, and I don't know if you know this or not, but the vast majority of our audience is female. I I think it's because we're so damn good looking, but that that. <laughs> That could be why. And we're so sexy that they just can't resist us. But I'm a silver fox. Yeah, the uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> he's called Whitey on many levels. Uh, but I think that the abortion issue, and I heard it one Democrat ad, and I told my, my wife as we saw it on YouTube before I went on my hiatus from there because I couldn't stand those damn lying commercials. One of the pro-abortion or Proposal 3 in Michigan, which was to make abortion... Up to birth, yeah. legal, ha ha ha. Uh, so they, one of the things. Yeah, that's how they bought the vote. Most one, one of they bought that vote yeah. with, with this promise yeah. that women are going to be in charge. Women love power. I, Everybody loves power, but women today's woman loves power. I heard it reported that the Democrats intentionally in, made sure that that was on the ballot to bring out. Democrat leaning voters, uh, going to going to what you just said, yeah. but buying the vote that that they they bought that vote they bought that vote with uh, with that. Well, Tudor Dixon ran on no exceptions. Yeah, I disagree. I think the life of the mother is an exception because everyone is entitled to their own life. It's a matter of self defense. And I'll tell you this: I looked up the stats. Dying in childbirth is an extremely rare occurrence now. Because of C-sections and medical advancements, it's it's very rare that a woman dies in childbirth. 
without extenuating circumstances. And, the, and, and I'd, I'd say in most of those cases, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving medical advice here, but in most cases, uh, the abortion wouldn't make a difference. But I am, in, and I am in favor of it on that one condition. Rape and incest are so rare. Uh, it, it doesn't change it for me, rape and incest, because it's still a human life. And that's my basis of uh, being pro-life, obviously. But another way votes were bought were, were with the promise of the student loan debt, as I mentioned before. Uh, they've already withdrawn that. Ha, ha, ha. They suckered you. It was never going to happen. It's not legal. They knew it was going to get struck down in the courts, which a federal judge has ruled can't happen. And if it went to the Supreme Court, I suspect the same result would come about. Uh, uh, various forms of legislation that would be dressed up as payback. Uh, and I'm going to have to, uh, you know, I'll incorporate a little bit of code speech here. But uh, payback, uh, that that's full buying. Yep. You know, it, it's all about, uh, well, we'll help you get such and such if you yep. vote for us. Right. You know. Uh, the people they are taking care of, are illegal immigrants. They're getting more money, in some cases three times as much as Social Security recipients. I'm not convinced that's going to continue because the the uh, there's a report out that the Hispanic demographic group is not breaking Democrat to the extent that that the Democrats envision. Well, they, uh, Hispanics tend to be Catholic Christians and they're not going to be pro-abortion. Well, they're, and they're not going to be trans this or that either and and that's right. and that might have been the straw there right but anyways i digress yeah so i don't know if you have any any other forms of vote buying you were talking about but what is your vote worth why 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 do people think that they can sell their vote to get something today only to lose their freedom in the process what what, what what's the uh, scripture what does a man gain by gain uh getting gaining the whole world but losing his soul it's kind of like that. How do they how do they think they're going to advance in the future under a communist state, which is what the Democratic Party is now, global communism. So, uh, I hope you're happy with what you did. Uh, you sold your vote. You sold our freedom. You could sell some people's lives. Sold your soul. Sold your soul. There's going to be, a, you know, devil's going to collect. With that, I guess we'll call it a wrap. And uh, be safe. Watch your six. And don't tread on me.